I'm going to do another review of this new mousetrap game. Um, I didn't give it a very good review at first because I did not like the way uh, the setup. It was very difficult to put together. I gave it a second chance. It was a little easier this time. But this slide and the steps is very confusing when you're setting it up. But... I have to admit that these extra pieces that they added in are pretty cool. Once you get it put together and you start playing with it, it is pretty awesome. It's just really, really hard to put together. Um, and it's a little difficult taking some of the pieces apart. But when you see how cool it looks when it, when it operates, whoops. <laughs> see this thing here? This thing annoys me because... Um, it, it moves at the slightest bit of, you know, if you jar just a bit, it, it comes down. And that yellow pole is really hard to get in. Now, there's a few differences. Um, they ba you know, they basically went back to the original design, except they added some things in and omitted one thing, and that's the crank. There's no more crank here and no more gears, which I really like the crank and the gears. So now what we just do is we flip the stop sign and let's follow it love that little bucket and then whoops I forgot to get but you know you know the drill um and now we only need one ball which is kind of good because every time you would find these in the thrift store they're missing a ball well it only needs one and um yeah, it is cool. It's fun, but children, I, I don't recommend this game for children because kids don't have, unless they have a really good hold on their temper, um, they're probably going to get like really angry because this something doesn't fit. And, you know, I, I just can see kids getting frustrated with this because me as an adult being 40 years old, I got frustrated with it. Um, I didn't lose my temper, but yeah and the parts are made i gotta say the parts are made much sturdier than the original these are made of like a softer plastic um not all of them but like the base here is kind of like flexible and it's not as easy to break as the original things are this is still the same fragile kind of plastic but a lot of the things that um, were easy to break are not so easy to break now, which is also another good thing. So, yeah, and the mice are a little bit too big. They look like rats. I don't like the shape of their heads. They're too narrow, you know? But anyway, other than that, this is the game, and, um, shoot, I just dropped the thing. 